maybe some of parallel lines on the PS2. They had some other games too, like they had some SOCOMs and Gran Turismo's. Uh, like some Guitar Heroes and stuff like that. Good games. But uh, the first game here is uh, Driver 2. It's a pretty good sound actually. I may hold on to this one, I'm not sure. enough I've never put much time into any Spyros. Like I said, I didn't have a PlayStation growing up. I had the N64. Sometimes I regret not asking for a PlayStation at some point, you know, because it came out when I was in, uh, came out like late 95, so I would have been in 11th grade when it came out. Just for some of the survival horror action they had, man, I would have totally been into survival horror at that point. I would have been like, Silent Hill, what's this? Resident Evil, awesome. Clock Tower, you know, that, that sounds cool. Deception, you know, all that stuff. That's the platformer as well. I guess these are maybe some of the other characters you use or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's playable critters. Sheila the Kangaroo, Sergeant Bird, Bentley the Yeti, and Agent Nine. Even Sparks the Dragonfly struts and stuff. Stuff. I don't have the camera light 
on the camera itself. The light in the room is on, though. That's Spiral Year of the Dragon. I guess this is the last one by uh, Insomniac. And then they went on to Ratchet and Clank. Fourth game here is uh, The Little Mermaid 2. Once again, I this because I thought it had value and this does sell for around $15, $20 from what I saw so um, I actually did not know they made a Little Mermaid too. <laughs> I believe the first one came out when I was in elementary school it might have been like the tail end of my elementary school years maybe like 90 or something like that I could be wrong though um, but yeah I guess this is just like a platformer too oh no it looks like you can Sebastian's Orchestra. All the cases are not... Cr I mean, there's like a little crack in the next game, but like all the hinges and stuff are fine, which is always nice. Let me pop the uh, manual focus, uh, the autofocus on here at the end just to see how it does. There we go. has some value too around 20 to 25 depending so and two dollars piece you can't go wrong you know i mean you can kind of just say fuck it you know if it doesn't have value well, what are you gonna do you know <laughs> ends up becoming a lot part of a lot or something but um but yeah still cool i'm kind of pissed i didn't get the i, I was thinking about like oh, i was looking at the prices i think it was 10 10 or 15, but I was like, oh, I can get the PS2 as well, and I didn't know, because, you know, I'm always a little wary about shipping systems, and PS2s, at least from the ones I've had in the past, like, five years, can be a little bit finicky and, and kind of not work properly, and I'm always afraid with shipping systems that are heavy, that if there's a problem and they need to ship it back, i got to eat another $18 shipping to get that back, because it's got to go in a large frat rate box, so. I still should grab it, though, because they sell pretty decent. I mean, some are a little obscene, I think that's kind of all, but I feel like you can sell them for like sixty, seventy dollars, eighty dollars, maybe. But I guess I can always go back, but there's no way that thing's there. <laughs> but yeah, here's the. Uh, see, that's terrible. Let's see how long it takes to pick it up. Oh, that was quick. So the speed bunks, Little Mermaid, two, Spiral Year, the Dragon, Animorph, Shattered Reality, and uh, Driver. 
Yeah.